Good morning, day four. The sky is looking pretty good for now, but things change quickly. Hi. We're gonna have oatmeal for breakfast. I'm feeling positive today. We are passing those lakes, and then we're gonna go on down to the river and take a right and find somewhere to camp. So it probably won't be quite as long of a day. Um, or maybe it'll be just as long, depending on what we have to tromp through. We'll find out. Some easier hiking ahead through the grass coming through all this stuff. It's like that stuff. That sucks. We can see the Tokelet River down there. We've made it to the end of this pass, or well, we're through the pass, headed down towards the river. The question is, do we want to go up here and get a view of what lies below? Because we're not sure if we actually want to be down on the Tokelet River, because crossing the river is going to be pretty hard impossible we think so it looks like the main source of the river may butt up against some cliffs on the map we don't want to be trapped there so we may try and walk on the plateau but that spot down there will give us a better view make that decision we're in bear gulch right now bear draw bear draw right now we'll be shouting a lot on the way down still no bears we've been out here three and a half days haven't seen a bear since getting off the bus or moose or caribou. We've seen nothing but ground squirrels and ptarmigans and small brown birds. And footprints and poo. We've seen lots so of that. We've been shouting a lot, so everything would have hurt us and hidden or left. We've eaten our way through the getting better and we're going up to that ridge we're gonna follow the ridge so it's gonna get even better always changing plans out here you get to a spot and you're like no actually that looks better let's do that instead About a half an hour to get up here. And my, oh my, what a view. Whew. Here comes Amy. So, we camped over here the first night. Came by the pond, beat through all these bushes, came out here to this grass bowl and you can see what we've gone through to get up here from there. Two days ago we were over on the other side of that mountain range. We're up here on this lovely ridge and somebody forgot their lunch. Oh dear. Where is that somebody? Is it him? Nope. Lunch time on the mountain. And some feet freedom. And a gorgeous view. That thought he saw some people down there. Look at that. He's a brown squirrel. Right at the very top of the hill. And he's got done with our lunch break and deciding how to go. By tomorrow night, we need to be down here. That's the Tokelet rest station. So we're thinking we're going to go down here and maybe up that valley. And there's a couple of rivers down here that might be easy walking to get out on. 
main delta. We don't want to go down through that stuff. And there's a cliff down there at the bottom of those trees before you get to the delta. So this looks to me like a bear interested in roots and or ground squirrels. Because there's tons of ground squirrels on this hill. And I think this was done this year because that's still all alive. Just not where it used to be, right there. Can you spot the Amy? She's bright orange. She's working her way up the valley while I went over the hill. We'll head it that way. More bushwhacking over a little stream. Now up a very steep hill. And it's raining again. I knew we couldn't go a whole day without rain. stream over here is where we need to get to so that we can get back to the main river valley over there. And this steep hill going down here is going to take us to a stream that feeds that stream. It looks nice and walkable down to the bottom. There's a bunch of stones again. Getting down there can take some doing. We're getting down there, but it is steep. Very carefully selecting footholds and using the sticks. We made it! We made it! Woohoo! Wow, oh, that was sketchy, slippery, and steep. But we're down. You want to know a funny thing? I didn't slip once. And then Matt finally caught me and was like, How did you get so good? And as he was saying it, I slipped. And I was like, Never again be nice to me. No more compliments. I don't like it. How did you get so good at picking routes down slippery slopes? That's how I said it. Oh yeah, I didn't finish saying it because I started falling, sorry. Well, that first day we were all thinking that the rain sucked and we were putting on our sandals to wade across streams and we were wanting to avoid crossing streams and now day four it's raining and it's like whatever we're used to it now it'll end we'll get warm and dry when we get to our tent and we just tromp through the streams in our boots Four days out here will really change your perspective. This is the stream we just came down and just filled our water on because it's about to join with this stream. I'm not sure you can tell, but it turns into mud. And we're almost out. Of course, nothing's as easy as it ever seems. The stream is through this. You roaded gully that there's really no rocks to walk on so we're along the banks through the woods through all these horsetail ferns not too bad Matthew found me more wolf tracks. Look at that. So nice. Three of them are right there. And then, not 15 feet later, that looks like a bear track to us. Front foot, smaller -ish bear. That way's the river. We're making good progress. We can see the river down there, Tilcoat River. Right there. We're getting close. 
The hardest, most unknown parts of the journey are over. We've made it to the river. There it is. It is very comforting to know that we survived in the wilderness and are back to a place that's within reach of civilization. Speaking of wilderness, there's a nice bear track. How fun! Officially on the river. That's not true. This, We're still in the delta. This peak up there, that's where we had lunch. And then we went all the way up in there and down this river. Beautiful. Home sweet home. That's set up kind of just in a little flowery delta here next to the river. A clear little stream to get water from. Some bear tracks not too far from our camp. Camp just right over there. Dinner time. Matthew is struggling with his cheesecake. It's too sticky to lick off. But when you do this, look what happens to your beard. <laughs> it's raining. It started raining right when we got the tent. We have good timing. 